Happy Vlogmas! I'm Michelle Esquilin. Welcome to my Vlogmas of 2019. Hi honeys! Welcome to day four of Vlogmas. If my hair looks kind of funny with this poof back here, it's because I just got out of the shower and I decided to spin my hair around and then clip it up to create a little bit of a curl effect on the layers around my face. I don't know. We'll see if it works, but that's the plan. And if, I don't know what you think. Tell me what you think. How do my lips look? Be honest. I, I saw this makeup tutorial and they said to do the lip liner all over your lips, not just on the outside. And I think it looks okay. My lips look a little bit fuller though, and I don't know if they're too full. Let me know what you think. <laughs> uh, oh, my hair's falling down. That's okay though. By the time this video is over, it'll be all down and I'll just have a pin and oh, yep, it's falling. Okay, just do it now. <laughs> Wet hair. I am going to get my hair cut tonight and I so I don't want to blow dry it. And then you will see that on tomorrow's Vlogmas though. I realized something. This is my first time ever doing Vlogmas and it's a little bit too much to film the day I'm posting. I have to be able to do all the video shooting the day before and then post it the next morning because most of the things that happen in my life happen after work <laughs> and I'm scrambling trying to post it you know, in a short amount of time. So I think I can just do better videos this way. In today's video, I'm going to do the normal advent calendar stuff. And then I'm going to be going shopping today. Let me backtrack. This morning, I had a little poor me moment. <laughs> I'm sure I'm not alone on this. I, I'm sure we all have them. But I have one of those moments. Why am I doing this? Nobody likes me. How come I don't grow as fast as other people do? But I happen to have the world's greatest husband and he helped pick me up and re-motivate me. And so I'm ready to go and I'm feeling good about myself again. I just have to remind myself that I started YouTube late in the game. I actually wanted to start this page in 2012 and I keep kicking myself thinking if I had, where would I be now? But people who start their page now are much slower to grow and I just have to realize that and be patient and stick with being who I am every day. What I was saying, I don't even remember anymore because my phone keeps ringing. So my husband was able to talk me off the ledge and I'm back. But I was, I, it's, it's very hard doing this because those of us that do it, we're putting ourselves out there and it's just a big popularity contest. And when you're not the popular girl and you're not used to trying to be, how do you do, you know, how do you mentally get through it when your page isn't really growing. It's I'm like at a snail pace, like <laughs> very slow. And that is really hard on me. I've had a lot of people ask me, well, how do you handle that? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to keep going. I want to, I love doing it, but it does really tear me apart some days. Um, feeling like I'm just not achieving what I'm trying to achieve. I don't expect success overnight, but over multiple nights would be nice, right? And it's hard because I don't think YouTube does a lot to promote smaller pages anymore. I feel like I never see anybody that has less than 12,000 followers. Why is that, right? One of the big ways that I self-heal after feeling really bad about myself, and I guess it's not just me, I'm, there's probably a couple of you that do this too. I do retail therapy. I do. I, I know it's wrong. I know it's terrible, but I'm a human being and that 
is what I do. Growing up, me and my mom, we, we used to always, if we were having a bad day, we'd go get new bras and underwear, right? And I need to go shopping anyway today, but now I'm going to take you with me. I wasn't going to, but now I am because why not take you along for some fun, some good old fashioned fun retail therapy. What I'm doing is I'm going to go to Torrid. I've mentioned that I'm going out of town. My husband has a work party um, in a different state that he has to go to and I'm going as well. And I've got the dress. It's a dress from, I believe it was my first fashion video. Do you guys remember that beautiful black dress that I liked so much? I'm gonna wear that to the party, but I don't have shoes and I don't have nylons, stockings, leggings, whatever I'm gonna wear with it. Now I've been told that if I wanna put like a real fun holiday spin on my outfit, I can. So <laughs> don't threaten me with a good time because I'm gonna show up. So I'm hoping that I can find some fun holiday stuff to put with this dress to really spruce it up. So we'll see what we find. Because I realized I really can't film and post on the same day every day for a month like that, the second half of my day, you'll see tomorrow. I'm sorry, but that's the only way I can do it and stay sane. <laughs> Tomorrow is when you will see me packing for the trip and I'm going to go get my hair cut. And I'm pretty excited. This place is very highly rated. It's one of those Paul Mitchell salons. So hopefully they do a good job on my hair. As far as the advent calendar goes, <laughs> I'm so sorry, but I felt like I needed to take a break from that tea. I'm really just not liking it. I had never tried that brand before, and then I got the advent calendar, and it's just not good. So I made my own tea today. Just a little break. This is the Twinnings Herbal Tea in the Winter Spice flavor. It says, create a relaxing moment with a sweet apple flavor and savory cinnamon, cardamom, and clove spices. Yes. I am saying yes to this tea. It is so delightful. I think this is my third box that I've bought of these. I love it. And here's my cute Christmas mug for today. It just wraps around and it has a cat on the other side as well. This says, Wyke Tersbach, W Germany, West Germany. Weichterbach? Weichterbach? <laughs> I don't even know. Anyway, it's a lovely mug. It does, in fact, appear to be hand-painted. I'm already halfway through this mug of tea, though, because it's so delicious. I couldn't even finish the last two days of this stuff. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I don't know. Let's see what the flavor was at least, I guess, for today.
spicy anise. Oh. Got a cute bill on it. I'm trying to decide if I should take some of these with me on the trip to see how they taste. Hmm. I'm not sure. Just not sure. Okay. And then day four of my Ulta advent calendar. Now I have figured something out because it's hard to get these out. If this one is hard to get out, I now have a knife <laughs> that I will use. Yeah. Okay. This is ooh, right up my alley. Sorry, I punctured a hole in the... <laughs> This is right up my alley. It's lavender bath salts. Sounds delightful, doesn't it? I love lavender and I love bath salt. So I'll definitely be using this after I get home. Today's reversed advent calendar item is Cranberry sauce. Put that in the box. Thank you so much for watching day four of Vlogmas. I hope you enjoyed this video. Tomorrow I will be showing you different things about how I pack, which I think those are always so fun to watch. And I will be showing you my haircut. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Oh, I forgot to ask my question for today. What do you do for a pick-me-up when you're having a bad day and you just can't feel better no matter what you try? Like I said, one of my big ones, I've got a bunch of different things that I do, but my big one is I like to go shopping. <laughs> what do you do? How do you feel better? Let me know down in the comments. Okay. Bye.